that you used to play games with when you were younger. That was that was your buddy, right? And you always played together. And then you would always say, Mommy, who's the better player? And your mom would be like, you're both very good. You're both very talented. Well, that's not the case right now. Choose your sibling. It's Angry Bird or it's Big Bird. You can't stand in the middle. How in the world did they draw this? Ramp Wolf Kupite, you are cruel. Wow. This is going to be one of the most memorable matches in the history of Red Bull Kumite. Um, would you describe yourselves as rivals, like you and Adele? Yes, in the game, yes. I am Amjad. My nickname in the gaming world is Angry Bird. I am uh, 25 years old, from Jordan, living in the United Arab Emirates. He's always trying to be better, trying to be the best. And even when he's the best, he's still trying to be better. He has the killer instinct in the game. He really resembled the bird from Angry Birds. He looks like the red bird, same facial expressions. When he loses, it doesn't get any better. I was like, yeah, one plus one, this guy is Angry Bird. <laughs> He gets very tempted by, not, I don't want to say his anger, but he's very hot-headed. Like, I get angry a lot. I'm an angry guy, kind of, you know? Wallah. We are welcoming Team Nassers, the Middle East fighting pride, Angry Bird! Amjad is just the hardest worker, and honestly, no one, no one knows how hard he works. Like, there are sleepless nights I've seen this guy. We all feel Ad is very talented when he gets into the zone. He sees things that are just different. This is in terms of just the game itself, right? I think his neutrals, I think his spacing is maybe one of the best inside the game. Were we able, well, was I able to foresee this? Yes, for sure. It was just a matter of time, honestly. Uh, my name is Adel Anoush. Uh, I'm known as Big Bird in the gaming community. I'm 26 years old, and I'm a professional Street Fighter player. Big Bird, that's his name. Too good. One of the greatest players throughout the history of Street Fighter V. Angry Bird's brother, none other than Big Bird! Never read the man you who I'm flinging round his booze, yeah. Rebel in the spoon, no containing up the beast, I'll be ghosted like a ghoul, yeah. He's the one who introduced me to, to Nasser Esports. Without him giving me that opportunity, I think I would have gone in a different way, like being an accountant or whatever. So, introducing me to that team that day, I was like, okay, this could be, this could be it. Trying to get the finer things I'm not talking about diamond rings Bro, I'm trying to shine within Adil was actually the last one, I think, who got his nickname as Big Bird. And it just made sense because we were in a tournament in Dubai and he was wearing this yellow shirt. I'm like, well, he is bigger than all of them. And he's the tallest, so yellow shirt. Yeah, Big Bird. Everybody used to play uh, football. I used to play football a lot when I was a kid, so my youth was full of football. My favorite memory, to be honest. Every day we used to, to play with the guys. This is how I knew Adam. When he invited me to his house, the game he happened to open was Street Fighter. Then he played it. I couldn't do a move. I brought the same game to beat him, just to beat him. And then he came, I started beating him in my house, and it became like that. Until we discovered, okay, there is a community here. You can play online, you can have fun. That's the moment when I was like, okay, this is uh, what I like, actually. I just played it, I liked it. 
I kept playing, I kept I found out other people play it, I played with them. Many people don't know how hard it is to actually get better in fighting games, spe specifically this niche, right? Where you have online play cannot, you know, overcome offline play because you would actually have to gather, you would have to meet players. I found out even more people play it outside of UAE, followed them. I got the chance to play with them and, you know, everything else led to where I am right now. I got introduced to two of my uh, classmates in school who actually used to play Street Fighter without me knowing. Their names are Abboud and Hamoud. I met Amjad in grade seven and I used to hate him before. <laughs> we didn't like each other at first. And then one day in the IT class, he was like looking at my stream. What are you watching? Oh, Street Fighter, how do you know Street Fighter? I was like, yeah, I play this game. And I think it started from there. Amjad and Adil, the rivalry went really far. And I've seen it firsthand to the point that no one wanted to play with them at some points. The passion they have for playing, like whenever you play with Angry Bird, if you like, for example, beat him in a set, he will not get up and he will not let you get up as well. Yeah, you, 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 you won't leave the You day. won't leave as a winner. He will just stay playing with you until he wins and then go out. I think it's one of the main reasons that made him, what made them what they are today, yeah. really. You know, just getting into the community, trying to play in tournaments, you're not really winning in the beginning. And I believe, honestly, when the first time they won in, I think, a team tournament, I think that's when the course of their winning streak started to happen more and more. I think what sets me apart from Amjad is I try to use logic instead of emotions, while he applies emotions before logic most of the time. In tournament, I used to get nervous a lot. Like, kept losing, kept losing. At the point, I was like, it's too much for me. Like, too much pressure. And I don't think I'll be good at this, so let me leave it. It was like so many, like a mixture of feeling depression, I don't know what, what I'm doing now. I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Like, uh, no, nothing. Literally, I feel nothing. If I lose, it doesn't matter. If I win, it doesn't matter to me. Like, whatever happens. I can't talk to my friends about this because I want to keep it personal too. And I needed guidance, you know? If it wasn't for Adel, I don't think I would be in the same place where I am today. He's the one who was kept pushing me forward when I was like let down by so many things. And then like there was a tournament. The guy told me, I think you shouldn't travel to this tournament. You're done for this year. You're not performing good and you're away from qualifying to the world finals. I was okay, yeah. I don't I don't mind. But Adel said no no, let him come with me. I don't want to, to be alone. I went with Adel, I won that tournament. Like the one that should, I shouldn't be going, I won that tournament. I used to think I became a robot, you know? But when I became the world champion, emotions started to come back again. The EVO champion, 7,000 players, and now there's one. Would you describe yourselves as rivals, like you and Adele? Yes, in the game, yes. But as soon as the game finishes, Best friends. I think rivalry is very cool. It's very fun to see. It's very entertaining, as long as it's done in a in a respectful way. We got to see each other's ups and downs. I got to see him at his lowest, and he got to see me at my lowest. I got to see him at his highest. He got to see me at my highest. So I feel like we got to know each other a lot more because of the game. He was always there when I needed him. So, and I was always there when he needed me too. So, but. Like the both of us being there for each other meant a lot for both of us.
It's like a Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi kind of situation, in my opinion, right? It's just this rivalry, I love it, you know? There's something about these guys that it, when one becomes better, the other one will train just to beat him again. So the rivalry is purely based on both of them getting better. And that's why they do it. He beat me in Red Bull Committee last time. So if I play him again, I'm gonna destroy him. I promise.